Welcome to my tie-dye video. So the first thing I'm showing you here is me wringing out a t-shirt that's been sitting in a soda ash bath for 15 minutes. Into the basket, I have 10 t-shirts. And then I'm doing something called centering the t-shirt, where I take the front and I fold it long ways like so. And you want to make sure the side seams are aligned as well as the neckline and make sure all those creases are out. You wanna take a washable marker and find where you want the center of the flower to be. And then you take a protractor and mark the 120 degree mark and the 60 degree mark. Take a ruler and draw a straight line to the center point. Then holding that center, you wanna fold the bottom half to the top line. And then you want to fold the top half to the bottom line. I like to use a ruler like I did so here to prevent any creases. Then I use a round object to draw part of my circle, which is going to be the center of the flower. And then I have a template that I cut out of cardboard of half of a petal. And I'm just using it to outline two halves of a petal. And then we're gonna do accordion folds all along each line. You wanna keep folding so you can get a straight line, like so. And then you take string and wrap that around the straight line as tight as possible. Finish it off with a double knot, cut off the excess, and I did the same thing for all 10 t-shirts. What I did with the rest of the t-shirt was scrunch it up and then I tied it off with some more string to hold it in place. And now my shirts are ready to be dyed. These are the colors I'm working with today. They're so pretty. And then I realized I didn't have black, so I just mixed it myself. You use even amounts of each primary color and you have black. Then I was going through my rough sketches. I always do this before I dye, just to make sure I have an idea of what I'm doing with my color. Oh, and that's my happy pre-dye dance. And what I usually do is start with the center point and then I work my way to the petals. For this one, I'm doing green. Yes, green flowers do exist. <laughs> and then for the rest of the t-shirt, you just want to cover it in a color or two, whatever you like, go crazy. But see how I'm using a lot of dye here? Next time I'm gonna use less because I wanted to have more contrast between the folds and the parts that were more exposed. So I get more of that blotchy tie-dye effect. You'll see in the end what I mean. Once I finish dyeing a t-shirt, I place it in its own individual plastic bag and tie it up and leave it for the night. The next day. So it's the next day and I open up each bag and then I pull out the shirt and I rinse it with cold water first to stop the dyeing process. And then I uncut all the strings that I tied, like so. And here's the reveal, t-shirt one, t-shirt two, t-shirt three, t-shirt four, t-shirt five, t-shirt six, t-shirt seven, t-shirt eight, t-shirt nine, and t-shirt 10. Yay. And then you wanna rinse it all out again with warm water. And then I put each t-shirt in its own little laundry net, throw it into the laundry machine, and the laundry is done, and then you hang it up. This is what the t-shirts look like after they've dried. The dye I used in this video is Dharma Trading Company's Fiber Fixative Dye. The t-shirts are 100% organic cotton from eConscious. And if you don't feel like doing this yourself, these shirts are also available on my Depop. 
Link is in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And there's more videos to watch over here.